I was surprised to hear that the Hero 9 has a new 20 megapixel sensor. This sensor allows you to capture a video in 5K, that means in a clearly higher resolution. This should result in a more detailed image. However, more megapixels can also have disadvantages. Especially in low light conditions, more megapixels could lead to a worse image quality. Does this also apply to the Hero 9 or does the 5K resolution have decisive advantages? Let's find out in this video. But before we start, please keep in mind that the GoPro footage suffers a lot from the YouTube compression. For best results, you should therefore activate the highest resolution in the YouTube settings. When it comes to image quality, colors are very important. Let's look at these first comparison shots to see if GoPro has changed the colors. There are hardly any differences to be seen in these shots. The colors of the two cameras seem to be almost identical. But there are a few other things that catch my eye. The image of the Hero 9 has significantly more digital sharpness. This means that the contrast at the edges is digitally increased. The result is that the image looks more digital and less cinematic, but you can easily change that in the settings. Both shots were taken in 4K and with the default settings, so with sharpness set to high. To the details and 5K we will get in a moment. What I noticed here is that the shadows on the Hero 9 look a bit brighter than on the Hero 8. The most important color is probably the color of the skin tones. The skin tones also look almost identical on both cameras. What I notice here is that the face on the Hero 9 has less small details, for example less pores, as if a beauty filter was applied to the face. That can be an advantage at my age. But the face looks a bit flatter, so while the whole image is sharpened, the face is smoothed and details are removed. Now let's see if the image of the Hero 9 actually contains more details. First, let's compare two 4K shots again. After all, the 4K image could also have more details by downsampling from a 5K sensor. But this does not seem to be the case. Apart from the higher digital sharpness, I can't see more details here when I look at the image of the Hero 9. Now let's compare a 5K image with a 4K image of the Hero 8. If we zoom in by 200%, the 5K image looks better and more detailed. At 600%, you can see that the 5K image of the Hero 9 has slightly more small details, even if both images would not be usable here. In the dark areas of the Hero 9, you can also see a bit more noise. Now let's compare a few 4K shots of the Hero 9 with 5K shots of the Hero 9. Here you can immediately see that the 5K image contains less digital sharpness, but more details. clearly looks better than the 4K image at the default settings. The comparison of the high frame rate modes shows a similar result as the 4K comparison. 4K60, 2.7K120 and 1080 240 look very similar on the Hero 9 as they do on the Hero 8. The main difference is that the Hero 9 shots have more digital sharpness. This is especially noticeable in 1080 and 240 frames per second. I would in any case recommend you to reduce the sharpness on the Hero 9. But there will definitely be a video about the ideal settings for the Hero 9. Just like on the Hero 8, you can increase the bitrate on the Hero 9 to high. Only briefly for understanding. If a camera captures a video, the information that the sensor captures is usually not stored directly but first compressed. A higher bitrate allows more information to be transmitted and saved. This means that the information from the sensor does not have to be compressed as much, which could lead to advantages in image quality. However, the files become considerably larger as a result. Let's take a look if we can see a difference between high and low on the Hero 9. Here you can see a first comparison between standard and high. However, this static shot does not lead to any differences, also because the camera has no problem with this image even in standard mode. Let's look at a shot with movement and more small details which could create more compression issues. With a lot of goodwill you might notice small differences at the ground, but the difference is very small and hardly noticeable, maybe even imaginary. On YouTube it is probably very difficult to judge, because the YouTube compression produces its own artifacts. I made some more comparisons and the result was always the same. Personally, already with the Hero 8, I thought the high bitrate was a pure marketing move, but of course this is only my personal opinion. And by the way, if you are new here, my name is Werner, I live in the Italian Alps and on this channel I do GoPro and filmmaking tutorials. Consider subscribing if you are interested in these topics. 
for current prices and offers for the Hero 9, I have put some links in the video description. A particularly important aspect of image quality is the dynamic range. Dynamic range is about how well a camera can handle situations where there are both bright and dark areas in the same image. So let's see if there are any differences to the Hero 8. When it comes to dynamic range, I can hardly see any differences between the Hero 9 and the Hero 8. Maybe the shadows on the Hero 9 look a bit brighter, but the difference is minimal. In the highlights, and this is the important part, I can't see any difference. All these shots were taken handheld. I set the stabilization on both cameras to high. Do you notice that the Hero 9 shot looks a lot shakier? But there will be a separate video about the stabilization. Here I was shooting against the light source and then I brightened up the shadows. Again, there is hardly any difference. Now let's take a look at how the Hero 9 performs in low light conditions. In low light conditions, the ISO value must generally be increased. A higher ISO value leads to more image noise and worse image quality. So the main question is how good the image quality is at higher ISO values. Let's look at the same scene with different ISO values. From ISO 400 on you can see the first differences. The shot of the Hero 8 has a little more noise. Even if you can't see this on YouTube, there is a clear advantage for the Hero 9 at 800. From 1600 on, the difference is obvious, although here both shots are actually no longer usable. So I think that the low light performance could be improved with the Hero 9. A very short summary of the results of this comparison. The colors were hardly changed. The standard settings, however, the Hero 9 now contains much more digital sharpness. The skin tones are now smoothed more strongly. It looks almost like a beauty filter. The 5K image looks good, especially at the zoom factor of about 200%. It looks clearly better and more detailed than the 4K image. While there was no improvement in dynamic range, the Hero 9 produces less image noise at high ISO values, resulting in better low light performance. And that's it for today. Give me a like as feedback if the video was helpful or interesting for you. There will be a number of videos about the Hero 9, so stay tuned and see you next time.